Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to What's in Your Bag. I'm your host, Melissa New, with my co-host here, Mr. Chase Reynolds Hi. of Lens Rentals. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Yeah. Let's just talk as if Mr. Joe McNally is not sitting right next Who? to us. Please, carry on. <laughs> really, I'll just, I can go to sleep standing up. Good, so this is early issue. in the morning. It is. Are you bringing your feisty this early in the morning? We'll see, Melissa. It depends on how good you are. Oh, okay. So well, yes. game face on. <laughs> we want to talk about gear. So my question would be, you know, someone talked about, on the, on the subject of Nikon D4 and Nikon D4S, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I put an article out there that was with my kids, and I used, you know, the beast of Nikon D4, and it was amazing. It was, you know, I needed something fast, and I needed something that I could trust. Mm -hmm. And someone commented, wow, that's a little bit overkill for children. You know, it's, it's over. Why would you need such a beast for just a children's shoes? Mm. I was like, for something that is so dear to me, subjects that are the most important to me, what do you have to say to that? I mean, is there is there a camera that is too overkill or underkill, or what do you think? No, the you know, the cameras are the tools of the trade, cameras and lenses. You choose the tool that you deem appropriate for that job, and then it's nobody's business but your own. So if you want to uh, chase children and go to, you know, a high-speed consecutive kind of drive function where the camera, I, you know, some of the most effective pictures I've shot of kids, I haven't even been looking through the camera. Yeah. You know, you've got the camera down at your knees and you're chasing them and you're just hitting that drive. Yeah. Um, one of the things that, uh, one of the main clients I had for a number of years, I did the FedEx campaign for five years and they wanted things to be completely helter-skelter. They wanted the campaign to look like you had a point and shoot on your shoulder and a FedEx truck drove by wow. and you just went, click. Mm -hmm. So I had a radical, because I'm kind of a traditionalist, I grew up, you know, my pictures are generally sharp, hopefully relatively well composed, rule of errors, all that sort of stuff. Oh. Compose well, <laughs> yes sir, I will, I promise I will, I'm just giving you another chance. Um, but the art director wanted everything off he balance. Just, he just slapped himself. Yeah, just did. make note of that, <laughs> yeah. to hear that. Um, so, like, I would be chasing a FedEx courier through a spice market in Istanbul. My assistant would be running next to him with a speed light, mm -hmm. just flashing, and I have the camera out here on consecutive high zone, autofocused, and I'm chasing the package, and I'm not even looking through the camera. And I got a picture in that spice market that ran as the header for the FedEx website for about three years. Wow. Without even looking through the camera. So your, your, your choice of camera is... Tell those folks it's your business, nobody else's, you know. I can understand the overkill aspect if you're going to go shoot quietly in the streets of Morocco. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want a smaller camera. Sure. The D4 is a bit of a howitzer to have on your mm -hmm. shoulder. So maybe you want to go to a slightly less ostentatious chunk of machinery. Yeah. Maybe a little lower profile. Something a little more closer to a point shoot. Maybe not exactly a point mm -hmm. shoot, but something that's not going to attract attention. That's why I like the DF. The DF yeah, just came sure. out. And it's an old style camera, not a video camera, okay. just pure stills, but it has uh, the buttons and dial configuration roughly of an FM2. And it's low profile. It kind of looks like your dad's camera. Oh, I love yeah, it. You know? I love it. And so if I was going to go street shoot, that would be the camera of choice. Got a D4 chip, you mm -hmm. know, but it's a low profile camera and it's not going to immediately, you know, announce you, like, you might as well put a neon sign on your forehead, you know, I am a professional That's photographer. Right. All you indigenous people, stop doing those interesting <laughs> things, and please, let me set up my lights. <laughs> you, know, I, you know, I mean, you want to be unobtrusive, you know, when you're trying to photograph the reality of a culture or a place, so sometimes profile of camera can implicate itself, but in a kid shoot, you know, go for it. Well, Joe, Tell us where we can find your work for people who have not seen Joe's work. I would definitely check it out. What is your website? Uh, www.midnighttattler.com. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I You're from it. Vegas. I knew it. <laughs> Something. You right. never know if he's serious. You just yeah. never know. I'm just... M-I-D... I'm going to go with the obvious here. Yeah, JoeMcNally.com. I write a blog, JoeMcNally.com backslash blog. Uh, we have... In, ter in terms of gear, there's a, uh, uh, you know, a hot link on my blog, uh, Joe's Camera Bag. You just click on that. Nice. Basically everything that we use or are current with that's right there on those pages. Excellent, and it, definitely check out his work, but I, I am a big fan of his writing, and it's interesting to find out that you 
we're going to be a writing major, or that's what you studied. So he has such a brilliant way of writing, has such a good way of teaching, and really puts things into um, good perspective and really something that I can relate with. So thank you for all that you put into your, your work and your writing. And we talked a lot about gear, D800, D810, lots of lenses. I definitely check out the folks over at Lens Rentals. Chase is a great guy. His team is working hard. You know, you don't have to buy all these things. Not everyone has the Joe McNally budget, but definitely check out lensrentals.com and, and try out some of these gear. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. No thank sarcastic you. remarks to, to close out? No, I just it's just been swell to see you again, it's Melissa. It's been so <laughs> swell, Joe.